Hey guys, Ryan here from Indie Wrestling School, and today we're talking about the most expensive part of running a pro wrestling show. Coming up. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing below. Put out new videos every single Thursday for Three Minute Thursday. So far and away, the question I get asked the most is cost-related questions when it comes to pro wrestling events. So I thought the best thing to do would maybe take a deep dive into the most expensive part of running a pro wrestling show. This is a tricky answer because it can be different depending on your promotion. I'm gonna give the 500 foot view of what I think the most expensive thing should be. And that should be your talent. As a general rule, I think your talent to building and ring rental cost should be in line. What that means is if your building costs $500, and you're renting a ring at $500, that's a thousand, right? So you should be spending at least a thousand on your talent. Now, obviously, if the building can only hold a hundred people and you can't sell tickets at $20 a head and fit a hundred people in there, then obviously you don't want to spend $2,000 on a show. So you have to factor in what the building can hold. But as a general rule, I like to think your building and your ring rental costs should equal your talent. Now there is circumstances that are different for everybody, right? You may own a wrestling ring, so you don't have that factor. So in that case, I would double the building cost and spend that on talent. If the building's free, if you're, <laughs> if you somehow lucked into a free building, I would double the ring rental costs. If they're both free, then you really got nothing to complain about because <laughs> you're already halfway there, right? There's some people out there who work with their, their friends and people they know very well, so they're paying their talent very little because they're doing it as a favor. Favor so that if that's the case, then, then you have extra room in the budget, right? So you can bring in, you know, a name or somebody who's sort of upper echelon of pro wrestling and maybe attract more fans than you normally would. So the one thing I would say as far as cutting down costs, because people ask that often, and I think this is an entire video unto itself, but there's really things you can do to eliminate costs. Uh, as a promoter and one of those things is people tend to hire sound guys and stuff like that um, People hire people to work the door I always try to get friends or family or people who I know are gonna come to the show Hey rather than you buying a ticket. Why don't you help me out at the door? You can stay and watch the whole show for free if you're doing something like sound you really can get a pair of speakers uh, that are good quality that can really fill up a good room and an amplifier slash mixer for probably about 500 bucks and then you just use a laptop and you can do all your sound right from there through iTunes or Windows Media Player. Or there's, a, there's an endless amount of options you can use, really. So I really try to avoid getting a sound guy. Obviously, you need to factor in microphone and stuff like that, too. But really, you're probably going to spend 150 bucks every show at minimum on a sound guy. So it's better to just pay for that 500 and, and be done with it and kind of learn how to do it all yourself. As with everything, I don't recommend getting your sound equipment and testing it the day of the show. I recommend testing it, <laughs> you know, two weeks before and testing it a couple times before then in a couple different scenarios. You know, how far can the microphone reach? Am I gonna be close enough to the ring that if it's a wired microphone, they'll be able to reach in there, measure everything out and make sure it all will line up so the day of the show, you don't have anything to worry about. You don't need to troubleshoot anything and everything's exactly how it should be. Now, a lot of times people will ask me, how do you find talent? And really, it's about doing research, right? You gotta go online. You have to go on to other promotions that maybe maybe you watch or maybe you're into and, and see what they're doing. And then look at local shows nearby because if there's people working those local shows, chances are they're not being flown in. So you don't need to worry about the cost of a flight or anything like that. There's somebody who's local and you can have them come to your show and work it for you. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please beat the out of the like button and we'll see you next week for three minute thursday <laughs>